So this is the video in which you will learn something about enthalpy and entropy. We will do some questions on the change in enthalpy and change in entropy. So let's start with enthalpy. Enthalpy is given the symbol H and it is equal to U plus PV where H is the enthalpy, U is the internal energy of the system, P and V are the pressure and the volume of the system. Suppose if I take uh, change in enthalpy, I get delta H equals delta U plus P delta V when the pressure is kept constant. So we also know that the change in internal energy is equal to Q plus P delta V. So using this equation, the enthalpy equation can be modified as delta H equals Q. That is, at constant pressure, I can say that the heat exchange between the system and the surrounding is equal to the enthalpy change. So before we proceed on to do some questions, you should know when is enthalpy positive and when is it negative. So enthalpy is positive whenever we break a bond or when the question says heat is absorbed or the reaction is an endothermic reaction. And similarly, enthalpy is negative when bonds are formed or heat is released or the reaction is exothermic. Let's learn what entropy is. Entropy is the measure of disorder in a system. And entropy of a gas is greater than entropy of a liquid is greater than entropy of a solid. Entropy increases with increase in molar mass. Entropy increases with increase in temperature. Hydrogen bonding decreases entropy. And uh, standard enthalpy, which is given the symbol S0, is measured at 25 degrees Celsius and at one atmosphere. And the unit of entropy is joules per a Kelvin mole. So these are some of the factors of uh, facts which relates to entropy. You have to remember before we proceed on to do questions on entropy. So let's just, before going further, we will uh, learn what are the processes that leads to the increase in entropy? Melting, vaporization, sublimation, increase in temperature, large number of moles of product as compared to reactants. So all these factors, if you see it in any reaction or any process, it will lead to an increase in entropy. So based on this, let's just do some uh, a few questions on this. So for the following reaction, predict whether the entropy change is positive or negative. The first reaction, water gas going to water liquid. So I am converting a gas to liquid and therefore entropy will be negative. And uh, the second one, I have uh, 2 plus 3, 5 moles of gas on the reactant side and 2 gas molecules on the product side. And uh, hence, again the entropy will be negative because the number of moles in the product side is less. And the third one, if you consider it, I have two solids, two liquids on the reactant side and two aqueous, which is pretty random, which will be moving around, two aqueous molecules and one gaseous molecules on the product side. And hence, the entropy will be positive in this case. Some formulae which will be useful to you when you are working on uh, questions is, Delta S of the reaction is equal to sum of the entropy of the product minus the sum of the entropy of the reactants. And then delta S universe is equal to delta S system plus delta S surrounding. And if the system is at equilibrium, delta S system is equal to negative delta S surrounding. And this delta S surrounding is related to delta H using the equation delta A surrounding equals negative delta A system divided by T and if there is a zero attached delta A zero vaporization is equal to delta A zero vaporization divided by the boiling point same way delta A zero fusion is equal to delta H zero fusion divided by the melting point and as we have learned before also in case of delta H it will be positive if the bonds are broken it will be negative when the bonds are formed and for an exothermic reaction, delta H system will be negative 
and delta S surrounding will be greater than 0, that is positive. And for an endothermic reaction, delta S system will be positive and delta S surrounding is less than 0. That is endothermic reaction delta H. The enthalpy is positive and the entropy is negative. Let's do the one of the question on delta S. Calculate delta S0 for the reaction. Nitrogen plus hydrogen giving you ammonia. And there's a B part of the question. Says that del calculate delta S for the formation of one mole of ammonia. And the standard uh, entropy for hydrogen, nitrogen and uh, ammonia are given. So let's just write down the equation. And we know that the change in entropy is equal to the summation of the entropies of the product minus the summation of the entropy of the reactor. So substitute the values in it and I get delta S0 of the reaction as negative 198.5 joules per Kelvin mole. And the second part of the question is asking for one mole of ammonia. If you see that the reaction is for two moles, so just divide it by two, I will get the entropy change for one mole of the formation of ammonia. Calculate the entropy of vaporization and entropy of condensation of a compound that has a molar enthalpy of vaporization of 27.5 kilojoules per mole and a boiling point of 35 degrees Celsius. Vaporization means converting a liquid to a gas. Condensation means uh, converting the gas back to vapor. So the formula we are going to use is delta S vaporization is equal to delta H vaporization divided by T. The zero over there uh, indicates that the temperature which is there will be the boiling point. So substitute the values in it and you can notice that I have converted the unit of kilojoules into joules because normally the unit of enthalpy is in kilojoules and the unit of entropy is always in joules. So remember to convert the temperature to Kelvin. And I get the delta S vaporization as 89.3 joules per Kelvin mole. Now they are asking for the entropy of condensation. Entropy of condensation is to convert the vapor into liquid form. So that will be if I'm going, I need 89.3 joules to convert uh, liquid to vapor. I need the same amount to convert from vapor to liquid. Therefore, entropy of condensation will be negative 89.3. And the signs, we just notice for a moment whether is in accordance with what we have learned. So, entropy of vaporization is positive. That means I'm converting a liquid to a gas. So, this is the situation where the randomness increases and therefore entropy increases and entropy is positive. And entropy of condensation is negative. And this is the case when I am going from a more random situation to an orderly situation. That is from a gas to liquid. So this also makes sense to me that entropy of condensation is negative. Calculate the melting point of ammonia from the following data. Delta H fusion of ammonia is given and delta S fusion of ammonia is also given. So use the formula, the relation between delta S fusion and delta H fusion. And the zero means uh, the T will be the melting point. Substitute the values and get the value of T. The only point where you have to be careful is the units of delta H and delta S. Remember to convert the unit of delta H into joules. So this is, I'm just going to explain the difference between system, surrounding and the universe as far as change in entropy is considered. Consider the reaction water liquid going to water gas. So in this case, if water is the system, so the uh, liquid is getting converted into gas. Therefore, delta S system is positive as water liquid is changing to water gas. Now, what about the surrounding? When the system, the entropy of the system is increasing and the entropy of the, so the increase in entropy in one case should result in a decrease in another case and hence the surroundings of the system the entropy will be negative and uh, the formula we use is also delta s surrounding equals negative delta h system divided by t this delta h system 
is positive because bonds are getting broken and mathematically also it proves that delta s surrounding will be negative when i convert liquid to gas now let's see what happens to the universe now delta s universe is basically the sum of the delta s system and delta s surroundings and it will be positive at temperatures greater than 100 degrees celsius and it will be a spontaneous because it's spontaneously changing from uh, liquid to water Seventy five kilojoules per mole of heat is released into the surrounding when a system undergoes a change of state at constant pressure and at a temperature of thirty five degrees Celsius. Calculate delta S of the surrounding. The B part is this ninety five kilojoules of heat is absorbed from the surrounding. So the point to be noted in this question is A part says released, the B part says absorbed. The formula you are going to use is delta S surrounding equals negative delta H system divided by T. So in A part, since the heat is released into the system, the value of delta H will be negative. Therefore, the delta S surrounding will be positive 244 joules per mole dot K. So the B part of it, it says that so much of heat is absorbed or in other words, the delta H will be positive. So substituting positive 95 gives me a negative value of uh, for the delta is surrounding.